family, pray for the sick or in the different hospitals and in homes. They pray for all souls in purgatory. One Christian pray for the departed souls. Fulgency Bagamohunda, Silva Rayola, Birunji Oscar, Mashany Gloria, Mulumba, Serena, and Reverend Father Joseph Rumanyika to rest in peace. Mare Jude, thank God for the gift of life. Pray for the family. And lastly, pray for the souls of Teopista Nakobe, Namari, Antonio, Ted, and Dad Sejong, that God may reward them eternal life. Rogers and Jacqueline, they thank God for the gift of life. Pray for healing within the family, peace at the place of work. They also pray for their children. And lastly, they pray for the souls of Angela Meres Kabarebe and the Prisca Pembo, that God may reward them down the pause. Margaret and James, they thank God for the gift of life. We pray for God's providence. Good health for James, who is in Abu Dhabi. God bless his work. And lastly, pray for the souls of Father Zachary Anton Reza, Father Francis Sirubanga, Brother Father Anatoly Waswa, Father Vandere Asin, Teresa Narumans, Zachary Kasure, Annette Nakubulwa, Jane, Vincent Mufumba, John Sari, and all the souls in purgatory. And one Christian, thank God for the gift of life. Pray for the soul of Maria Regina Nakachua, that God may reward her eternal repose. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yesterday, we are urged to involve ourselves in acts of love, charity. Today, Jesus is teaching us how to pray. Not to pray for, but how to pray. Or what, not what pray for. He's going to give us a methodology. Let us pray that he has to offer the sacrifice of mass. God may give us the grace to pray intensely in this Lenten period. For the moments when we feel that we have play, prayed enough and then we have not managed to get what we are asking for and we are in the process of living prayers or oh, thinking that God is not concerned about our welfare, let us feel sorry and ask for God's pardon. Rather than sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrary trouble heart, Lord, have mercy. We came to call the sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through chastising effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of, your, of, your, of our yearning for you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower 
and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I intend and prosper in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. <coughs> Responsorial Psalm, our response is, The Lord restores them in all their distress. The Lord restores them in all their distress. Glorify the Lord with me. Together, let us praise his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. From all my terrors, he set me free. The Lord restores them in all their distress. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly, this lowly one called the Lord had and restored him from all his distress. The Lord restores them in all their distress. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears are open to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. The Lord restores them in all their distress. When they just cry out, the Lord hears and restores them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. The Lord restores them in all their distress. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noon time, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Love him. Lord be with you. Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for if you forgive men their trespasses your heavenly father also will forgive you but if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus, 
Jesus in his preaching he wanted to make a difference with the other people who prayed in a very complicated way. In their praying, they thought that saying a lot of words or heaping up empty phrases, they were forcing the one in charge of everything to do what they were asking for from him. That's why Jesus he told his disciples that when you pray, don't use a lot of words because your heavenly Father knows what you need. As a matter of fact, before we present our petitions to him, our prayers to him, he knows our needs. He knows what we need. And he told them, pray like this. Our Father, not your Father. Our Father means that Jesus himself is in our camp, is on our side. I'm going to my Father and to your Father, but today he has stated our Father, including him, because he was also his Father. A statement which means that we are his sons and daughters. A statement which demonstrates that there is that filial relationship between us and him. He is our father. When a child tells his father going uh, to work, or a daughter, he or she just says, Dad, when you come back, bring, with, bring me biscuit. That is all. Please, Dad, when you come back, bring me a cake, yogurt. He or she stops there. He knows that my dad is going to do what I have requested him. He has trust confidence in the dad, in the mom. The same thing applies here. That fear you love which makes us to call him our father. Let us have trust in him. Let us know that he will give us what we ask from him. Her Lord be thy name. Is giving us the responsibility after that allegiance with him that is our father, then is giving us the mandate to be agents to spread his kingdom. We are messengers of his kingdom, and we are the ones to do that work. In our place of work, place of residence, where we stay, after the kingdom is spreading, then you have to ask things that will help us to do the work. Give us our daily bread, material or spiritual and material needs from him. Because in spreading the work of God, we need spiritual and material things. And he's going to provide because we are doing his work. We are doing that work on behalf of him. He has, has commissioned us. When he commissions us, he has to give us the means to do the work. And this is what we are doing by the virtue of our baptism. Then, in the process of establishing the kingdom, at times may hurt a person. We may step on his toe and then misunderstanding a crew. The last statement, the last work is giving to us. If you forgive 
For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. This is the task God is giving to us in this blessed period of 40 days. Remember when we are starting these days, Prophet Joel said, this is the right time to be reconciled with our Heavenly Father. The same message was re-echoed by St. Paul when he was writing the Corinthians. This is the appropriate, this is the time to reconcile with yourself, to reconcile with the brothers and sisters and the environment which surrounds us. It is not easy. It will be very fruitful when we reconcile with those people whom we have said never in this period so that we can celebrate the passion, death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ worthily after we have gone through that process of reconciliation with those people whom we think they are our enemies. Oh, this is the time to do it. May the grace of God help us to carry out that noble task which will help us to celebrate with the, the Paschal Mysteries. The Lord be with you. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Creator Almighty God, what we bring from our, your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us that it may bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It's truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. 
Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gift we pray by sending down a spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered wearing it into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the Lord eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and we profess your resurrection until you come back. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, you offer, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have freed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with the Francis our Pope, His Grace, Paul Mogherini, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have presided throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. When we are praying, let us not babble, let us not use a lot of words. Let's be clear, Jesus knows what we need. That is all. Then he will provide with what we are asking from him. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, and Lord be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from over evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by help of your mass, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those God to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray thanksgiving. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Bow your heads for the Lord's blessing. May your faithful be strengthened, O Lord, by your blessing. In grief, may you be their consolation. In tribulation, be their power to endure. And in peril, their protection through Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Our masses end and go forth in peace and love of Jesus Christ.